For a few years now, you've been watching his videos. And some of you have probably been wondering, what does this sexy sounding man look like? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're about to find out because today we're do- Oh, oh, oh. Um. Hi, his name is Agro Zero. What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Stepping away from the gameplays, stepping away from everything else we've been doing, and we're going to be real with one another right now. We hit a thousand subscribers. I seriously cannot get over that fact. Thank you all so much for helping me get there. I still can't get over the fact that there's over a thousand of you that have decided my content's good enough for you to stick around and want some more. I was elated when we hit our first 100 subscribers. That enough in its own right was a big milestone for myself to hit. But now we've hit a thousand? Fuck me. Anyway, thought we'd mark the occasion by doing something a little bit different. I did have plans on doing this back when we hit 500 subscribers, but I put that on the back burner. We're not going to do that this time. We're getting right into it. And we're going to do my 1,000 subscriber Q&A. Because we've never really had the chance for you to ask me questions and just for myself to get real, let you guys know a little bit more about me. So I threw it open on social media, gave you guys the chance to ask me some questions, and some of you came out with some pretty good ones, and uh, I'm keen to get stuck into them. The first question, and I've been asked this a few times, where does your username come from? I didn't always go by the moniker of Argod Zero online. I originally was known as Fueled by Darkness when I first started gaming on the PS3, but then when the PlayStation 4 came out, I thought it was time for a bit of an update. And if you want to know the truth about how Argod Zero came about, um, check out this clip right now. Run! It's Godzilla! I'm probably going to get done for copyright, but you guys wanted to know, so. It's the whole, you know, ah, Godzilla! You know, it's, you... Some people will probably think I'm a racist now. I can tell you that that's, that's not the case. I'm not racist. I love you all. What's my earliest gaming memory? Probably the most involved I was with a gaming memory is when we first got the PlayStation 1. We got it first day release. My dad and my uncle would sit up to like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning playing the original Resident Evil and the original Silent Hill. And I remember sitting in the lounge room watching and then it'd be time for me to go to bed. And little tiny Godzilla would stand between the crack of the door and the wall in the bedroom and kind of try to sneak some peeks to see what was going on. So I remember that vividly. But we had like the Super Nintendo, we had the Atari, plenty of other memories, but fondly and most vividly, definitely catching some sneaky peeks at the late night horror playthroughs with uh with my old man and my uncle what got me into gaming in the first place i would say the exact same thing i just mentioned just growing up around people that played video games not just my dad and my uncle we had another uncle that lived with us at the time and he was big into pc gaming like with the old school age of empires and stuff like that i'm kind of disheartened i didn't grow up in the era of arcades like we've got time zone tons of fun all that kind of stuff but i'm talking like the old school arcades that you see in the films, like you go pop some quarters, like I know Australians aren't going to be popping quarters, but you know what I mean, head down, just play the retro games with the joysticks and stuff, I really wish I had the opportunity to do that when I was a kid, but definitely the people around me was what inspired me to get into gaming, and my love just kind of flew off from there. My favourite homie RJ song, well we, we can tell who's asked that right. It comes down to two, plain and simple. It's either Paradise or Stoneheart. You heard it here first, homie. You're welcome. What inspired me to create my YouTube channel? Originally, the YouTube channel started off just as a forum for myself to share some funny moments that myself and my mates would get when playing GTA. I dropped a video... Was it the first video I dropped on the channel? It could be the first video I dropped on the channel. It was a Fallout 4 video when I worked out a glitch on how to get the cryo gun out from behind the storage so you didn't have to like get lockpicks and then go all the way back and all that kind of stuff. 
that went over pretty well and then as time progressed I started taking things a lot more seriously and I thought I'm going to put some real man hours and some time into trying to make this a success and so far so good I'd say where do I want to take the channel from here ideally like a lot of people and let's get real a lot of people would do this they'd probably say 1 million subscribers I think everybody wants to hit 1 million myself I'm a little bit on the lesser side 100,000 why 100,000? 100,000 is where you get your first plaque from YouTube that you can hang up on your wall and I think it would be good to have that little recognition just to say hey congratulations you've hit a goal in life and it's a goal in life for myself right now 100,000 subscribers is what I'm striving to achieve on this channel bare minimum if we can get you know if we blow up overnight and we just get like one mil like over the moon but end game my goal right now what I'm striving to do is to get better at what I'm doing I know I'm not the best when it comes to YouTubing some of you try to tell me otherwise but you can't convince me I'm not I'm not buying into that shit but end game definitely improve what I'm doing bring new content into the fold that maybe new subscribers will like as well and the old subscribers I, I cater for everybody and try to get to that 100k marker at, at, at one point in my life at least will I do the ice bucket challenge if I hit 5,000 subscribers you know what if I hit 2,000 subscribers we will do the ice bucket challenge so you heard it here first 2,000 subs ice bucket so you gotta get it you gotta hit that subscribe button down below otherwise it's not gonna go down what is the best sort of cheese they're all pretty gouda but I'd have to say brie if I could only play one game for the rest of my life, new or old, what would it be? What a question. Um, it'd have to be something that would have a bit of longevity, um, replayability. Probably the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. I feel that would be the case, because you could play hours upon hours upon hours as just one like class, one race, but then you could play again start a different race go for a different class you could do all types of different stuff I, I, I think that's my answer Skyrim Skyrim lock it in Skyrim what game or games am I most looking forward to The Last of Us 2 was definitely one of them and my heart kind of broke a little bit when I saw they had to delay that but that's fine Cyberpunk 2077 is another big one for me this year I, apart from that I don't think there's really anything else that really sticks out for myself there's a couple of titles every year that i get involved with but definitely this year the last of us 2 and cyberpunk 2077 and uh you heard it here first ladies and gentlemen they both will be hitting the channel when they do decide to release who are some of my favorite youtubers to watch i can be cliche and say markiplier jacksepticeye pewdiepie obviously those would be in the mix with most people jablinski games because i'm a big jack black fan um smaller channels like I used to watch I still do watch as well Slipgator who was big on Ark and I watched him when he was doing Minecraft videos and then he swapped to Ark and then Ark kind of made his channel blow up but Slipgator is definitely one if you're into something a little bit different go check him out definitely recommend that but I'm into watching all different kind of stuff that recommendation list that pops up on YouTube that um it goes a big way to to pointing myself in the right direction sometimes what are the goals for the end of the year for my channel I think that we've hit a thousand subscribers now I'd like to probably set the bar at about 1500 subscribers if we can finish between 1500 and 2000 I would be very happy and I bet you guys will be too because I just mentioned earlier about the ice bucket challenge for 2k so I probably put my foot in it with that one didn't I what kind of videos do you think your audience would like you to start making wow that's that's a pretty good question and I, you know what I don't have an answer for that because I've been doing what I've been doing and you guys have been enjoying it if there is any type of different content you'd like to see let me know in the comment section down below it's as simple as that plain and simple I'm ears open always happy to listen do it let me know let me know let me know what are my favorite video games horror games in general I absolutely love RPGs as well I'm all over so games like Elder Scrolls, The Witcher, Resident Evil, The Last of Us, Silent Hill, 
all right up my alley. Absolutely well and truly. Apart from that, I get down with simulation games as well. I've been getting big into MOBA games. Um, I've been getting pretty heavily involved with League of Legends. I've just started playing Grim Dawn with my boy uh, Cripple Plays and really getting stuck into that. So, start, kind of starting to broaden my horizons a little bit when it comes to the games I play, but definitely if I had to lock down a couple of genres, RPGs and horror titles are the ones I like to jam the most. How am I holding up with the quarantine? Thank you for caring enough to ask. I hope you guys all at home are doing well with this quarantine as well, because what we're suffering with right now is something I don't think anybody could have anticipated. How am I dealing personally? I'm getting by. It's kind of put a stint on some personal things I was doing, more physically for my health. Um, kind of had to put some things on the back burner a little bit, but that's okay. We'll get back to where it's at. I'm just thankful that I'm alive, my family's safe, my friends are safe, and that you guys are safe as well. What would I do if Leon Kennedy was in my kitchen pouring milk before the cereal? He's probably lucky that I'm a huge Leon Kennedy fan because who the fuck? What is one thing I'd like to do that includes the involvement of subscribers? The one thing I did used to enjoy doing and we haven't done for a while was my interactive live streams where we played games like Hidden Agenda and Until Dawn and you bloodthirsty bastard would come out in droves. Why would you come out in droves? To see every single character killed off at the first moment. And I absolutely loved it. If you guys want to see that kind of thing come back, as I said, open forum. Let me know down below. Coke or Pepsi? It's got to be Coke. The most rewarding part about YouTube and being on YouTube, 100%, and I'm not trying to pander to, to the fans here, but the feedback I get from you guys is probably the most rewarding. Hearing things like, you're so entertaining, your commentary is spot on, you're absolutely hilarious. Hearing things like that confirms to myself that I'm doing the, the what I'm setting out to do. It's been mentioned slightly i don't dive into it all that much but mental illness is something i suffer with in a pretty big way and if i can't find happiness in my life that's okay if i can bring happiness into yours it kind of brings a little bit of balance to myself and makes me feel better about myself as well so hearing from you guys that you guys are entertained makes me feel better about myself as well so thank you all so much what is my favorite video game on the playstations one through four I'm going to cop out a little bit here. There's a couple of titles per that I'm going to choose because there's sometimes I can't really separate. But if we're throwing back to the PlayStation 1, it's definitely Resident Evil 1, 2, 3. The original OG trilogy, 100%. PlayStation 2, definitely Resident Evil 4. I would probably throw the Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers in there as well because I really enjoyed that game too. PlayStation 3, Dead Heat between The Last of Us and Skyrim can't split it down the middle and playstation 4 the witcher 3 wild hunt probably for myself lock it in those games are, are my favorite on every each not every but each of those consoles if my uncle jack got stuck on a horse would i help my uncle jack off well of course i'd help my uncle jack off but wouldn't he need help off the horse first Apart from growth, what goals do I have for my channel in the future moving forward? Probably outside of the 100k thing that I mentioned earlier, I'd really like to start doing charity live streams as well and maybe networking with some other YouTubers. I think networking is pivotal for smaller channels to move forward. I've been fortunate enough not only to collab on screen with some other fellow small YouTubers, but off screen on social media. I have met some amazing people through this platform. Hopefully I can network with them on screen so you guys can see it moving forward. But live streaming for charity and helping make a difference, definitely something I'm hoping I can do with the channel moving forward. Someone left me a bit of a joke too. They sent me, uh, what goes in hard and comes out soft? And then they wrote bubble gum. Well, uh, I can tell you one thing. Looks like Bubblegum and my dick have something a lot more in common than I first realised. <laughs> when did I first know I was a huge butt cheek? Um... 
What? If I was a pineapple, why? Seriously, guys, what, what, what the, what the fuck? I'm gonna read this off, off of the paper here because it's a, it's a legit question. You mentioned that you were a pro chef in your latest Heavy Rain video. What I would like to know is how did you become a chef? Well, I'll let you know how I became a chef. I wouldn't say pro, like Gordon Ramsay. Come on, I'm not Gordon Ramsay. I, like, like, I'm not Jamie Oliver. I'm not any of those people. But I am qualified, and I got that through high school. We had a vet system where we could get into hospitality, in which we could do either front of house or kitchen. I chose kitchen. It gave me chef qualifications. Um, that included being able to cook for functions, um, learning how to make stocks and soups and cook everything and serve everything. And it was it was probably the most enjoyable class I did throughout high school, 100%. And being able to walk away with those pieces of paper saying I'm fully qualified, great feeling. How do I feel about clowns? I don't know whether you can um, see them behind me, all the Pennywise stuff. Um, I can get down with the clown. My favorite moment as a YouTuber. I don't know if there's a definitive moment. Definitely my first 100 subscribers was huge, as I mentioned earlier on in the video for myself. The 1K marker, huge again. Probably hard to differentiate between the two. A lot of people at home would probably say, come on, Zero, there's a big difference between 100 and 1,000 subscribers, but the first 100 subscribers is always the hardest to get. And getting that 100 to kick things off I didn't think I'd ever get there, and I did. And now we're here. Over a thousand subscribers strong. So hopefully the the climb, we can just keep going. Because that'd be fantastic. I've got one more question. I saved it for last. Because it's probably the hardest one that I've really had to think of an answer for. I'm going to read it off here. It's from my boy Crip. If you could, would you lose all your subscribers and start again... But when you get back to where you're at currently, you blow up and gain millions of subscribers. So basically what he's asking me is, would I start from scratch, and then as soon as I hit my first 1,000 subscribers all over again, I instantly blow up and, and get that fame? The easy answer is to say yes. The answer I'm going to give is no. And the reason I say no is because I've put so much of myself into this channel over the last couple of years. This channel's been up for about four or five years now, but probably only the last three years I've taken things seriously and I've gotten all the gameplays going, worked on my thumbnails, everything like that. To lose what I've got right now, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't feel right. I've made so many connections with people through this platform through my first thousand subscribers that I don't want to lose. Whether that be close friendships that I've made and some of the squad members that I'm hanging out with are through video games. So take that away and I'll feel a lot empty than I do sometimes. And I wouldn't give that up for anything. And I'm being serious. To each and every one of you that have helped me get to this point right now, to everybody who will jump on board moving forward, thank you all so much. I mean that 150%. As much as I do this for myself and I enjoy uploading what I do upload, I do it for you guys because of all the feedback I'm getting that you guys are entertained. That's all I want to do. I want to bring some smiles to faces, some laughter into the world. I just want to entertain you guys. And knowing that I have the platform to do that and people are enjoying what I'm doing, it means so much to me. I told you we were going to get real and we got real. Probably a little bit more real with some of those answers than I would have thought. But hey, at the end of the day, we're all human. We all cry some tears. We all bleed some blood. Of course, we're going to bleed some blood. What the fuck am I talking about? But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. First Q&A done and dusted. Hopefully not the last Q&A we do, because I really enjoyed you guys reaching out and asking me some questions. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. Pledge your allegiance to the God Zero Nation by doing so. As the name of the title suggests, we're over 1,000 members strong. And I cannot thank you guys enough for all that support. I don't know how many times I've said that throughout this video, but I'm completely humbled by the support each and every one of you give. And you've heard thank you a lot too, but I'm going to say it again. 
thank you. While you're at it with hitting that subscribe button, you might as well punch that notification bell and hit that like button down below too. Because why not? Down below in the description, you can find links to my social media accounts. Feel free to hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I love talking to you all. We hold polls for video games. I hold polls for other things as well, including some uh, unboxing things that I'm going to have going down on the channel soon too. So keep your eyes peeled for that. For the last time in this video, thank you all again so much. The first thousand subscribers done and dusted. We've got over a thousand videos on the channel as well, which I think is absolutely incredible. Here's to the future, ladies and gentlemen. Together, that brass ring, sky's the limit, whatever analogy you want to use, we're doing this together. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.